Number one, bananas. These guys changed a lot over time. Their seeds were tougher and their skin didn't look the same, but the main difference is, of course, the taste. Bananas taste different because of their genes. This is Cavendish bananas, AKA bananas from the supermarket we all eat, are at great risk. A couple of years ago, they made up 95% of all banana exports, but they're inevitably disappearing because of the fungi infection spread over the plantations. So, people will have to cultivate a new banana type that will probably appear bland in comparison with the ones we're used to. Do you like corn? A big lump with knobs. It has the juice. Right, but the original before selective breeding corn wasn't big nor juicy. It used to be a mere grass called teosinti, and its kernels weren't big enough to feed even a kitten, not to mention an adult human. And it wasn't that edible either. It had a hard shell, so the kernels weren't easy to reach, unless you had a heavy hammer to hit it a couple of times to open the shell. Luckily, some smart people started choosing the desired Teosinte plants with the largest kernels. Unlike its ancestor, modern corn contains four times more sugar and doesn't taste like raw potato. Fancy mac and cheese? In 2016, a large manufacturer, Kraft, admitted they had changed the original recipe. No one actually noticed much difference, but the changes were for the better. All they did was replace artificial colorings with natural spices. This way, they added paprika and turmeric. I love avocado toast, but they would have been much different and way less creamy and delicate, but for, you guessed it right, selective breeding. It all started with wild avocados. Those guys were small, only about three inches wide, and that would have been okay, but the size of the stone was impressive. Not to mince words, there was almost no flesh. Roughly, one of today's supermarket avocados equals 10 wild avocados. And actually, grabbing 10 avocados for one toast is not the biggest problem. Wild avocado skin is far too tough to be cut, so you'd need a machete to make a toast. This one is not about taste, this one is about size. And when it comes to chocolate, size does matter. Sadly, in the early 2010s, the Snickers bar was reduced for the first time in over 80 years. Snickers lost about 11% of its original size, which equals 30 calories. For the rest, it's still the same old Snickers we all love. McDonald's food tastes pretty much the same wherever you grab it, but not whenever you grab it. In 1990, McDonald's switched to pure vegetable oil. But if you could travel back in time, you might have tried old-style McDonald's fries cooked in a blend of 93% beef tallow and 7% cottonseed oil. The classic Oreo cookie has had several alterations too. In the 1990s, they removed the lard and started using trans fats instead. About 10 years later, those trans fats were replaced by vegetable oil. Fun Oreo fact. Double stuffed Oreo cookies aren't double stuffed, in fact. A math teacher, Dan Anderson, assigned a cool task to his students. They weighed 10 regular Oreos, 10 double stuffed Oreos, 10 mega stuffed Oreos, and 5 wafers. Turns out, double stuffed Oreos are only 1.86 stuffed Oreos. Mmm, I love the soft marshmallow texture. Still, back in the day, they were even easier to chew. What we have today as marshmallows are the squishy gelatin pillows, right? Old style ones were more like syrup. That syrup was extracted from the roots of the marshmallow plant and mixed with different toppings. I know you don't believe such a plant exists. It's something I'm not sure how to pronounce, but you can read it. Here's the picture. Time to get shocked. Number one, nope. Apple pie isn't originally American. It's among the earliest recipes recorded in Britain. Number two, some apple pie recipes featured meat, fish, and bird. Sounds weird and even a bit gross. Okay, let me tell you a bit more about a normal apple pie recipe from 1380. All you need are apples, dates, prunes, pears, raisins, something similar to cinnamon, mace, cloves, sugar, sandalwood, and <coughs> unicorn tears. Just kidding. Cinnamon wasn't very popular back then. Sugar was pricey. 
So to sweeten it all up, people love to use grains of paradise, better known as pepper. And there was no edible crust. That idea came to people sometime later. Selective breeding. Here we go again. Around 4000 BC, peaches looked more like cherries until the Chinese domesticated them. Here's the old time peach skin. Waxy on the outside, slightly over 60% of flesh is edible, and a huge stone. In 2022, there's no one around who tried the original cherry-like peaches, but scientists claim the taste was dramatically different, salty and even similar to lentils. With time, the peach evolved into a sweet, soft-skinned fruit with a relatively small stone. Eggplants Today, there's only one shape this veggie may have, but it used to come in a variety of shapes. Even the name derives from the fact that they were white and round. However, they didn't limit to one color only. They could also be blue and yellow. The great changes started when this veggie was domesticated in China, Thailand, and India. It's pretty clear the taste was different too. They say it used to be bitter and was used for medicinal purposes only. Ugh, I'm not really into eggplants today. I bet those of the past wouldn't be to my liking either. Hey, not all the changes are for the better. Sadly, we'll never try the original strawberry, but the studies claim that it tasted much sweeter before cultivation. The thing is, when performing selective breeding, farmers paid attention to the size as the original wild strawberries were tiny and resistant to outer conditions. The shape of strawberries we know now is due to the mixing of two breeds, the original wild strawberry and the Chilean strawberry that was once brought to France. Let's travel to 10th century Persia. If you're a fan of carrots, don't even try to look for orange ones. They were originally white and purple. The flavor was much stronger and they looked different too. Those original ones were much thinner. Some centuries later, the carrot seeds were sent to Europe and selectively bred. As a result, we have orange and way less bitter carrots now. Fun fact, baby carrots aren't a different species. These are the same carrots, but trimmed and sized down. Okay, this one looks a bit like a cactus. Seems weird and totally not edible, right? Well, it's the ancestor of a cucumber. This guy has changed a lot over time. You see those spikes? Some of today's cucumbers got rid of them completely and can boast a silky smooth skin, while others still do have that spiky resemblance to their ancestor. Also, the old version cucumber had only four seeds inside, unlike its modern counterpart. Anyway, the main difference between them is that you don't want to slice some of the old-time cucumbers in your salad. It was toxic and non-edible. Things with tomatoes are a bit more complicated as their evolution happened in two stages. It all started with the wild ancestors that were as tiny as berries and had different colors like yellow, purple, and green. The wild ancestors evolved into yellow tomatoes, which evolved into something we know today as cherry tomatoes. Hey, have you noticed that the tomatoes get less flavorful each year? It's because they lost some of their genes over time. That's the downside of selective breeding. The second stage started when people cultivated cherry tomatoes into those large ones we need to make a perfect burger and ketchup. By the way, 200 years ago, ketchup was used as medicine. Doctors used to believe tomatoes had a lot of medicinal properties, and so did ketchup. Did someone say ketchup? I guess this is the leader on the list. This condiment has nothing in common with the original version. First off, it was tomato-free. Second, it was made from fish entrails, meat byproducts, and soybeans. Third, it was created in China, and its original name was Getzap or Ketzap. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.